Hi there everyone. Welcome to the part B of the video lecture of solving this question. In our previous video, we had solved case number 1 and case number 2. Now we will solve for case number 3 and case number 4. Okay, there is something really special about this case now. So that's why I'm taking up a, into a separate video. Now, in order to solve case number 3 and case number 4, we will need partial fraction, the equation number 3 that I you can see over here. So, I'll, let me take up that equation over here. So, here we have case number 3 we are going to solve. So, let us uh, just first write that. Uh, yeah. So, first the partial fraction over here is f of z equal to 1 upon z minus 1 upon z plus 1. This is the partial fraction that we have. Now the case that we are dealing is something special and very uncommon for a new student. So let us see. 0 is less than mod z plus 1 less than 1. Now how to handle this case? Firstly understand this that this over here when you are seeing mod z plus 1 is a circle with center center z equal to minus 1 or z not equal to minus 1 remember this okay this is one important thing you have to understand it is a circle with center minus 1 and if I write this mod z plus 1 is less than 1 what does it look like what does this thing look like this is basically a circle whose radius is less than 1 okay basically if you try to draw a circle now so I'll just draw a circle, arbitrary circle over here and I'm drawing a dotted circle. I'll tell you the reason why the dotted circle, okay? And here at this point somewhere, I'm putting z not equal to minus 1 and here the radius, let it be 1 right now, but remember it's not what does this uh, calling about. Now, see, mod z less, uh, mod of z plus 1 less than 1. What is the meaning over here? The meaning of this is, I'll uh, write here, it is circle with center z not equal to minus 1 and the circumference is not included circumference uh, rather I would rather say that uh, just a minute I just uh, clean this up it's not it is not the circle but here it is basically it is going to be the interior of the circle uh, I'll shade it over here. Th it is this region. Okay. It is this region of the circle is there, which is there. And moreover, you know, um, we take up this center is omitted most of the time. The center is not there in the disk. Okay. The circle that you see, its center we take it off, and that's the reason this uh, it is called in maths it is called a punctured disc punctured disc something like that now this is all technical math and the interpretation for geometry and what is it meaning okay but remember whenever you draw this mod z plus 1 less than 1 it should be a dotted circle always a dotted circle because here you are not including right it is strict 
simply less than one. It is not the equal to sign over there. If there was an equal to sign, then we would have put a full circle with a no dots over there. The entire circumference would have been shown. But because it is a dotted circle, uh, the it is a strict inequality. So we have to avoid the boundary of the circle. Okay. This is one thing. So the meaning of this region that you see is it is the interior. Okay. Interior of circle with center minus 1 and radius 1. This is the meaning of this whole thing. Now, let me tell you what I explained you right now in the geometrical terms. It is just about the condition. Now, if you they are asking you to draw all this thing, you need not write about all this meaning and all. Okay, So we just keep it aside and we will see how to go about solving of the series. Uh, what to do with this then. Okay, So now let us go for the main part. What is solving? So how to handle the solving of the question? Let us see. Now we have this function f of z. What is the condition here mod of z plus 1? And remember I had given you in my previous video uh, that uh, we have to make everything less than 1. Is everything less than 1? Yeah, mod of z plus 1 is less than 1. In the condition everything is less than 1. So now this z plus 1 that you see you have to establish this in the partial fraction. So, z plus 1, how can we establish over here? I see here in the first k part, that is 1 upon z, I have to write it as z plus 1 minus 1. I have established what I wanted, z plus 1 is established. In the next part, should I do anything for z plus 1? It is already there. So we will not do anything over here. z plus 1. Done. We are done. Okay. We do not touch the second part at all. We keep it as it is. Okay. Now starts the question. How we will expand? Now, for the sake of understanding or just for the sake of uh, solving, we can, for time being, write down this z as some another variable, uh, z plus 1 as some another variable. Let us see. So, what I'll do here, put z plus 1 equal to m. Okay. If I put z plus 1 equal to m, what happens f of z uh, this function uh, you might also need some another name it is okay I, I don't mind it's not that strict over here okay if you feel that no z should become z minus 1 I, uh, I must write m minus 1 you may write it it's okay I'll just put it there uh, so z will become it's not so strict it is basically the calling name over here so just be very careful it's m minus 1 okay if you want to call that way so here it becomes 1 upon m minus 1 minus 1 upon m over now what happens with the condition Condition is also going to change. The condition will now become so also the condition becomes 0 is less than mod of m less than 1. Now just see it is same to the first case. Almost like the first case it has become. So we just uh, do that kind of uh, manipulation or the kind of expansion that we need now. So how did we do in the first case? Everything goes on the 
parallel way. So let us see how to handle it. Therefore, f of m minus 1 is equal to now we don't have the expansion for 1 upon m minus 1 but we have the expansion for if we take that minus sign common and I write this as 1 minus m then there is an expansion should I expand for 1 upon m no there is no expansion for 1 upon m I told you in my previous video that we will expand only for the format when there is 1 upon z plus a or something so here it is m plus a then we expand okay so m plus a or m minus a something like that so we will expand for the uh, first part we have f of m minus 1 equal to minus now uh, see this the expansion of this is going to be summation now it is minus sign is there so because of this minus sign the expansion is m to the power k where k going from 0 to infinity right and then you have minus 1 upon m okay this is the first part so if you expand it what do you get therefore f of m minus 1 is equal to minus of the bracket will be 1 plus m m plus uh, sorry m then there is m square then there is m cube and so on it goes on and that there, there is minus of 1 upon m so I'll just write that minus 1 by m ahead for our convenience so minus 1 by m and then there is this minus sign right so 1 plus m plus m square plus m cube and it goes on up to infinity all there are infinite number of terms now we did f of m minus 1 right what we now we will need to do is we will need to rip our question was in terms of z right so we should again write everything in terms of z only so wherever you see m re substitute m as uh, the value z plus 1 okay so therefore this will become f of z equal to 1 upon uh, yeah, minus of 1 upon z plus 1 minus 1 plus z plus 1 plus z plus 1 the whole square plus z plus 1 the whole cube and so on this goes on so this is the final answer for the expansion of the Lorem cube okay there is nothing difficult in this only thing is that when you have something shifted from the origin you give it another variable name and then you observe now see what I did over here uh, yeah we uh, did again you resubstitute it okay I'll just put a step over here to understand it nicely we did resubstitute re substitute in z plus 1 equal to m or m equal to z plus 1 the substituting we did now uh, see this entire question the approach that we have taken that take the variable and uh, give a new name to the variable z plus 1 is given m and then you solve this is one style if you advance a little bit in a thought process this relabeling can be omitted okay but for time being since it is our first kind of such question 
we will follow this labeling procedure and then we will go further let us go for the next part uh, case number four so i'll just put a separator here for our understanding so i'll now work have my working area this much so let us see uh, for the case number four so case four says one is less than mod z plus one so what is the meaning remember we have to bring everything less than one so everything made less than one i get one upon z one upon mod of z plus one is less than one now what is the term without the mod we will get the term without the mod will be without the mod just i'm giving you a hint what we are supposed to do the term without the mod is one upon z plus one right okay so in the partial fraction that we had we have to establish one upon z plus one now first thing first see how the thing work f of z the given question was f of z equal to 1 upon z plus uh, sorry 1 upon z minus 1 upon z plus 1 so this was the our main partial fraction okay because our condition is now z plus 1 change everywhere we must bring it, it z should become z plus 1 everywhere in the partial fraction we must be able to see z plus 1 separately so that's why we did this part this one okay this was very important so now we get another format is 1 upon z plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 upon z plus now what as per the case number 4 what do we need we need 1 upon z plus 1 okay 1 upon z plus 1 is required now do i do the expansion over here in the last part in this part will there be an expansion answer is no okay or uh, let's see how to uh, if that just bothers us like we don't follow that then we put the variable as z plus uh, 1 equal to m now let us put that and see put z plus 1 equal to m so what happens here therefore f of m minus 1 is equal to 1 upon m minus 1 minus 1 upon m and what does the condition therefore become it becomes 1 upon m is less 1 upon mod m is less than 1 right this is the condition now I have to establish in my this function over here in the star I have to establish 1 upon m now already this 1 upon m is there but in what about the first one somehow I have to get it so I will take m common okay therefore f of m minus 1 equal to 1 upon m taken common and then what do I have in the denominator 1 upon well, sorry 1 minus 1 upon m minus 1 upon m okay that's it now I have the expansion over here 1 upon m the expansion is very much uh, uh, there right we now know how to expand this so this is going to be summation now it is 1 upon 1 minus right so it is 1 upon m whole raised to k k going from 0 to infinity minus 1 by m this is our answer now we have got every, this is the final answer okay there is nothing going to happen so it, it just a bit more uh, simplification if we can do then it would be good 
so let us simplify a bit more so what happens here it is summation 1 upon m whole to the power k plus 1 okay because there is that outside k is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 by m now if you expand this for few terms what you will get here is uh, let us expand it what happens when k is equals to 0 we will get 1 upon m right and there is minus 1 upon m so this summation will run now from k equal to 1 to infinity 1 upon m k to the power uh, sorry m the whole thing to the power k plus 1 the k is running from 1 now instead of 0 now again we have to do the resubstitution therefore our answer will be uh, so I'll just write here resubstituting so on resubstituting now put m equal to z plus 1 so what happens to the function originally now the function will become I'll write here so it will become f of in now m minus 1 right so you're just putting z so it's going to come f of z and then the whole thing summation 1 upon m m is nothing but z plus 1 so it is 1 upon z plus 1 whole raised to k plus 1 right so k plus 1 k going from 1 to infinity this is the final answer okay so even if you expand the whole thing is going to remain the same if you even uh, write this summation format that is again the same so this is the aspect of uh, case number 3 and case number 4 I showed a very basic way where the expansion was there and we did uh, the change of the variable that means z plus 1 was there it we wrote it as m and then we got the answer okay why did we do this this case number 3 and case number 4 they are shifted from the origin okay the circle is not having the center at origin it is the center at minus 1 that's why this happened now you have to also remember here that how do we handle uh, the series there are two ways I have shown you here the basic way how to handle by uh, writing z plus 1 as m okay in the further videos as we advance our concept and understanding okay once we are comfortable with these kind of uh, understanding of the topic we will see how to do uh, these kind of question without writing for a new variable okay we don't have to always take the help of a new variable we can handle it with the same variable and get it done okay so this is the uh, explanation regarding case number three and four i hope you have understood the concept okay now uh, when there is this uh, region z equal to what about the region for the fourth case right the fourth case the region i am drawing here in the corner okay just observe the region is going to be there is a dotted circle i'll draw here okay a circle whose uh, here the center is z naught at minus 1 and radius is going to be 1 but now the shading the region is not going to be inside the circle it is going to be exterior of the circle so I'll just shade the outer region over here if at all you need that okay so it is the outer region that is 
fast. So this is the outer region of the circle. And remember always draw dotted circle for Lorentz series. Do not draw the full circle. It is always dotted because we are not including the uh, boundary of the circle. And also the center of the circle is excluded in this. So remember if you can put a, a, a hollow dot over here it means it is a center is omitted from that. Okay. So these are the few things. Geometry you can keep it little bit aside but understand how to solve these with the help of the changing in the variable. Okay. I hope you have got the whole concept of solving these two exam uh, these two cases in this example. Uh, please hit like button and share it with your friends those who find this topic useful and I hope you will benefit from this example and please subscribe to my channel uh, stay tuned for the coming videos okay and uh, keep till then keep solving good amount of mathematics thank you see you in further video lectures